We knew very early on that we wanted to write something in a podcast sphere. We, we wanted to embrace the medium. It's a fictional piece that packs in uh, social commentary that's based on history. A lot of fun, a lot of chills um, happening, lots of screaming during the recording process. But the audio of the sonic experience really just offers so many possibilities. It sort of goes back to the heart of storytelling. For me, it was, it was about the past intersecting with the present. That idea that we have to look at our past selves to fully appreciate and, and live in where we are. And that unless you do that work, um, it, it compromises your ability to live fully in the present and engage responsibly um, with the people around you. Almost every province and territory in Canada has a similar story with black communities, which is in very broad strokes. Former slaves come to, to find a better life via the Underground Railroad to Canada. They own houses, they develop communities, and then eventually the government goes, these are slums, we gotta upgrade and fix them, and they destroy the neighborhoods and just take black people's stuff. So it was like a combination of what's happening today in real estate, and for me at least, tracking the history of black communities from a design level, sound is one of my favorite um, pillars of the environment. And so this was right up my alley that I can just really just focus on, on that. So when we started doing the research for the distinct location, I found a listing that had a traditional working freight elevator in the second bedroom. An opening from deep beneath the surface leading into your bedroom. It's like, there's no good can come of that. <laughs> what I do believe in is these energies that are historical. And I think, you know, consider for yourself as an audience member, what energies you might be tied to. Listen to wherever you're comfortable, but I dare you to listen to it in the dark alone. <laughs>